of the 500th home run club. Breaking ball, Yelich, center field deep. Back goes Dyson at the wall, and he got it! What a catch! Gerard Dyson! My goodness! Up! On it! And he held it! Amazing! Summer sun is nearly set, and now it's time for baseball at Petco Park in San Diego. Tonight, the finale of this four-game set between the New York Mets and the San Diego Padres. Two of the best bats in the business go at it next on the show. Christian Friedrich will be on the mound for game four. Harold, what do you got? Well, Matt, we're catching the guys throwing a ball really good right now. His ERA is under three the last three outings. So he's keeping his team in the game and giving them a chance to win. He's got to get some run support. We see that today. Then we may see him walk away with a W. Here's the center fielder, Curtis Granderson. He's hitting just above the banner 300 mark on the season coming into this one. One and one. Here it comes. And a neck-high fastball that time. Harold, this Padres team as they take the field here tonight, they come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Yeah, Matt, the series didn't start the way they wanted to. Clearly, you lose the first two games, then you win yesterday. That's why a win today gives you a split. You salvage the series. Mm. Three and two. Waiting on deck is Drupal Cabrera. Here comes the payoff pitch. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Once again a 3-2. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Jankowski on his horse. Looks it into his glove and there's one gone. And now a chance to meet the Mets. HR how do they lock up a series victory here on the road. Matt this is a scary lineup. They've got power. And they have speed. They score runs in all different ways. They hit the ball in the ballpark, and they score on balls in the gap when you have a runner at first base. That's what speed, power combination can do. This is a very tough lineup. In now, as Drupal Cabrera and the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Here's the one and two delivery. And did he hold up in time? A look down, and no, he went around. It's strike three. One of the big advantages to pitching ahead in the count if you're a pitcher, because you have to cover both pitches if you're a hitter. You have to cover the off speed and the fastball. And in a one two count, you might be sitting off speed. And what happens? He gets the fastball, and he can't catch up to the express. In now, Joanna Cespedes. Breaking ball snaps in there for a called strike two. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. So a rather pedestrian start to the top half of the first. And now the Padres get their first opportunity in a scoreless ball game. Steven Matz is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Mets. Harold, any thoughts? Well, first things first, Matt. Check out that ERA. Under three. He's having a nice season. He's not going to blow you away with unreasonable gaudy numbers, but anytime you're under three, you're having a really solid season. If he's able to execute his pitches, he may walk out of here with a win today. Digging in at the plate is Travis Jankowski. As we take a look there at the difference in his numbers between June and July. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Good looking sinker on the inside corner. And the pitch. And he lays off it to even the count 2 and 2. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Time now to check the hometown Padres lineup card in this one. 
What's the key for them if they want to split this series, HR? Well, this is the new model of teams that we see. Strikeout doesn't matter. They're in the top third in the league in strikeouts, so we're going to see a lot of swings and misses today. But if they catch one, look out. Coming to the plate now, Carlos Asuaje. And perhaps not surprisingly, you can see he's a much better hitter away from Petco Park than here at home. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Grounded to third. Wright has it. In time to first, and there are two away. Batting third. Stepping in, Will Myers. He's not among the lead leaders in home runs, but his total does top this ball club. Bases are empty here with two men out. Out in front a bit as this is sent on the ground to right at third. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for San Diego. And this is still a nothing, nothing ball game. Digging in now, Jay Bruce. It's been a rough go for him at the plate as he enters this one with a season average in the 230s. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Sharp ground ball toward the hole. Aswahe on the grass. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. All right, here's how the pods line up defensively, brought to you by Majestic. And I'm looking at Will Myers playing first base. Yes, first base. Now, I know he came up as an outfielder, but, man, has he become a pretty good defender at first base. I love his actions. I love how he moves, and he's pretty graceful over there. Here's the third baseman, David Wright, and he's hoping to get things going at the plate. It's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. No score here as we play inning number two. High in the air out to center field. Heading after it is Jankowski. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Digging in the switch hitter, Neil Walker. Neil Walker. And he'll be looking to snap out of it in this one. Not having much success at the plate over the last week and a half. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Ground ball left side backhanded throw on to first gets him and the side is retired Mets go down one two three we'll go to the bottom of the second no score standing in Yon Hervis Solarte first chance for him here after appearing as a pinch hitter in the game last night the two and one on its way Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Working the plate is Carl Dixon. Well, Matt, the interesting thing about Carl, look, pitchers struggle with balls on the corner. They don't like that he makes them throw the ball in the middle of the plate sometimes. But he will call that high pitch. So watch him attack the high pitch and try to get that strike. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Hard ground ball to third. There to get it is right. Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other, one away. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. In this day and age, when teams are moving all over the place playing the shift, these guys are old school, very traditional. You don't see the shift applied very often to this club. Now a ball hit pretty well to the left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Oh, he's going to want that pitch again. That ball's right down the middle in his wheelhouse. His eyes lit up. He just didn't let it travel deep enough where he could square it and keep it fair. And oh, a big rip at the curveball, but he didn't get it, and he becomes the second casualty of the that inning. Expected. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. Standing in now, Jabari Blash. That's a ball. And there's ball two now. HR, these Mets as they enter play here tonight. Despite the loss last time out, they enter this one in good shape. Winners in seven of their last ten. Well, Matt, they're playing good ball. If you look at the standings, they got a nice comfortable lead, but comfortable can be, it can be trouble. You gotta stay focused, keep your foot on the pedal, and just continue to put that opponent away because 
This little lead can dwindle quick. He gives up a single there, but he's retired five in a row. Man, he looks sharp to me. The shortstop, Luis Sardinia. Coming to the plate now, Luis Sardinius. The average for him entering play, not far north of 200. The 1 1 pitch. Now a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 1 2 on the ground up the middle, and that finds its way through for a base hit. Breaking his heart, Matt. Breaking his heart. He got two quick outs. He's thinking he's going to cruise to this thing, and now look at it. Boom, boom. Base hits coming back at you. That's why you have to complete the inning. Stepping in now, Christian Bethencourt. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Ready to deliver the one and two. But this won't get over the second baseman's glove as he's got it to end the inning. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. Thursday night baseball rolls on. We'll have more after this. Now at the plate, Wilmer Flores. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. The one two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Boy, that's a tough pitch to lay off, even if you know it's coming. Look, two strike slider on the back foot. That's a classic pitch, but he did a nice job of laying off it. And the fastball misses high and away there. It's full three and two. Hit sharply on the ground. That's a hit, the first of the game for the Mets. Well, you went right after him with a 3 2 fastball. That's what you're going to do with guys that are struggling. This time, he just beat you. Rene Rivera. At the plate, Rene Rivera. First at bat for him in this one, and he's got that average up over the 300 mark for the year. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. I like the high fastball 0 and 2. Now I know he's sitting 1 and 2, but you showed him a great fastball. Now he's got to honor that, and you can set him up with anything. And look out as that one ran in and got him. This pitch just misses a bit inside and catches him about mid thigh. That's the meaty part of the leg, so as soon as the initial pain wears off, he should be just fine. Into the box now, Steven Matz. A fairly clear sacrifice situation here with two on and nobody out. None out, runners at first and second. Trying to bunt here, but this winds up hitting him. And they're going to say that he went after it. A strange strike, too. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. Now a bunt attempt here. And you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice works to perfection. In is Curtis Granderson. 0 for 1 here in the early going. The 2 1 now to Granderson. And a slider on the inside for strike one. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. In the dirt and block behind the plate. Oh, and he'll make it back in safely at third. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. Hard hit ball to second. And that's through. A base hit. In to score. The runner from third. 
They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. It's a 2-0 ball game. The way the game is played today, the leadoff guy, he drives in two runs, and you don't think a whole lot of it because he's now one of the guys that's an RBI producer. This is not your dad's old game. This is the new school. Into the box now as Drupal Cabrera. That one finds the target on the outer half. It's one and two. Well, this is starting to feel like a make or break moment in this game. When you're playing a first place team, you can't expect to fall way behind early in the game and then mount a comeback. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Hit on the ground to third. And a diving effort there, but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. Your Eric Ibar please. is going to come in now and take over following the injury. The now playing shortstop, number eight. Digging in to try it again. Joanna Cespedes. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And that misses 2-1. and one. Well, I know the last thing he wants to do is load the bases right here. So the pressure is on right now to get back in the strike zone. Hitters count now. Here's the 2-1. and one. Now a swing, and he pops him up. And I believe, yes, the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. And Myers will make the catch to retire the side. The right fielder, number 19. Jay Here's Jay Bruce. Bruce now, and we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. Let's go, San Diego. And this one misses to Bruce as he moves out in front. It's two and one. Well, when you're behind an account like this pitcher is, it's a good time to work in something off speed if you're confident in it. Most hitters are looking for fastball. Takes a high fastball for a strike. You know, I think this is a big situation in this game. They've got to lead by a couple of runs, but they don't want to look back on this inning when this one's over and think that they left some runs out there on the base path. Scoring. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. So two runs on three hits, no errors, and a couple of men left. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. The Mets lead this one two to nothing. Stepping up to the plate, Christian Friedrich. He'll lead it off against Steven Matz. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder, but a foul ball, one and two now. Here's the one and two delivery. Swing and a soft liner, and the pitcher's got himself a base hit. So a leadoff single will be the start to their half of the third. Well, they thought the inning was going to be set up nice. The pitcher's leading off to get a quick out. Instead, he gets a base hit, and now here comes the top of the order. Look out. In now, Travis Jankowski. And this one's in the dirt. Runner holds as the count moves to two and one. A tough sinker on the inside corner. And the sinking fastball called strike three, and that's out number one. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Carlos Asuaje. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Smoked on the ground left side, and that gets through for a one-out base hit. Oh, he's looking for that double play ball. He got the now sinker, batting. got the Third ball hit on the play. ground, but it Will happened to find a hole. Meyer.
Into the box, Will Myers scorched to third, and that's through into left, a base hit. And a good throw is going to hold that runner at third, so they're loaded now with only one away. Well, that one's going to load the bases up. They held the runner up. They're really looking for a big inning right here, trying to get a big strike out of the next two hitters coming up. Standing in now, Yon Hervis Solarte. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. And that's in there. Base hit. One run scored. And the tying run comes around to score from second. It's now a 2-2 ball game. Yeah, with the bases loaded, he didn't well, walk the run in. So instead, he makes the cardinal mistake of putting it right in the heart of the plate. And when you do that, you're going to pay the price. And that's exactly what happens with a two-RBI double. Stepping in now, Hunter Renfro slapped hard the opposite way. And that's in there, base hit. And the runner from third crosses the plate. Now the relay home, and he's safe. I love that hit right there. Two runs driven in early in the game. That always lets every pitcher relax and now be aggressive. Let's see if these runs help their pitcher when he gets back on the mound. In now, Jabari Blash tapped down the line. And Wright will smartly make sure this stays a foul ball. Another 2-2 offering. Hops this one up just beyond the infield on the right side. There to play it is Walker, and there are two gone now. Here's Eric Ibar now. Lifetime numbers against Steven Matz. Just a one for nine. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Left side. Throw on to first. Will finally retire him as the inning will draw to a close. So it's four runs on five hits. No errors and a man left. Three innings complete. The Padres lead it 4-2. to two. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. He's 0-1 for 1 thus far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Into the windup, here's the 2 and 1 pitch. This is line to left. Blash has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Into the box, Neil Walker. Walker lays off there. It's two balls and a strike. Now here it comes. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Heading after it is Blash. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. First base, the number four. Riding in once again, Wilmer Flores. He reached on a single in his first try. Two runs, three hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Ball. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Now the pitch. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Another try at 2 2. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Lashes under it. And that ends the inning. Down in order go the Mets. They trail it here 4 to 2. Digging in for his second at bat, Christian Bethencourt. And Dan, I'm sure the starter on the mound would like to hit the rewind button on that last inning. Oh, no doubt about that, Mac. That was a really rocky frame, but clearly not enough to chase him from this game. We'll see if he's still shaking a bit or if he's able to put this behind him. 
turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Been a real big struggle for him so far on the mound. Four runs and only three innings. So it'll be interesting to see if he can settle in at all and make some adjustments or if this start will continue to run downhill. So we got him looking there. Christian, Christian Bethencourt is dealt with for the Christian. first out in the bottom of the Friedrich. inning. Ready for another chance. Christian Friedrich. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Bouncer down the line. That goes foul. Two strikes on him now. We're in the fourth inning of a 4-2 ball game. High pop up. There to take it in is Flores and there are two away now. The center fielder number 16. Digging in at the plate is Travis Jankowski. And he's likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. Mine to the right side. And a little self-preservation down at first as he pulls that one in to end the inning. So they go down without a whimper here. On to the top of inning number five we go. The Padres lead it 4 to 2. Into the box now, Rene Rivera. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. One and one, here it comes. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. One and two, here it comes. Lays off two and two now. Here's the pitch on two and two. Ball three. Three and two now. This is not the guy you want to walk right here. Look, the eight hitter, this could set up a big inning if he gets on. Hard on the ground towards short. And Ibar can't get to it. It's a base hit. So with that, the Mets have a runner aboard to get the inning underway. Well, that's what you want. The guy in front of the pitcher oh, leads off the inning with the hit. Petra. Now it's time to play some Even. baseball. Are you going to bunt him over? Are you going to hit and run? Are you going to steal? What are you going to do? It gets fun now. Standing in now, Steven Matz. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. Ibar for one. On to first, but not in time as he beats it out. Uh, he got the bunt down, but he didn't deaden it enough. Really good job by the first baseman to charge in and make a good throw to second to get the lead runner. Stepping in now, Curtis Granderson, weak chopper up the line, but it gets foul. 4-2 our score here as we play inning number five. Keep that runner off second base. Go, He'll going. try it again from first. And now a swing and a ball hit hard back up the middle. And Granderson will be aboard with a base hit. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one-out single. I love running the guy on the 3-2 count. You know 15. the pitcher's going to be around the plate. And if you got a guy that can handle the bat like this guy right here, you put the ball in play, and now you get the base hit on top of it, and you're sitting first and third. Beautiful. Looks like double-barreled action now in the San Diego bullpen as they get a lefty and a right-hander up to throw. In now, as Drubal Cabrera, inside and low, 2-1. Two and one. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Well, Matt, I think a lot of that depends on the type of pitcher that you are. If you're a power pitcher, you can go ahead and ride a fastball up in the zone, but if you're a guy that induces a lot of ground balls with a sinker, I think you have to stick with that plan. With the meat of the order due up next, you could probably expect to see something you can handle here with the full count as the two hole hitter. And Granderson runs, and he misses with it, ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really going 
and a need to get a ground ball. I think he was trying to be a little too fine there in a walk is the result. Well, the good news is he has a force at every base. The bad news? A single probably drives in a couple of runs. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. He's got an opportunity here in a bases loaded situation and seems like the right man for the job. I'd say so. He's the team leader in RBIs. Time for the right man in the right spot. Well, here's a drive into the gap in right center as he comes through with extra bases. One run is scored. Granderson scores. And a relay home. Throw into third will not be in time. And it's a two-run double. Yeah, he squares this thing up beautifully and blasts it through the gap all the way to the wall. Then the only question that remained was whether two or three runs were going to score. They held the runner at third, but that's a timely two-run double. Into the box, Jay Bruce. Here's a called strike on the curveball, one and two. This is a situation you love as a hitter. It's an RBI situation tailor-made for you. If you hit the ball on the ground, you're going to pick up that run, and it's going to give you the lead. Swing and a liner. Foul. Four runs, six hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. to two oh, balls and two strikes now. This inning hasn't gone the way he wanted it to, but it's not a total disaster yet. Sometimes pitching is about damage control, so if he can strand these guys out there, that would be pretty huge. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. So, he threw the slider darting away to him two times in a row. Now I don't think he'll go for it again. I'm looking for something hard inside on this pitch. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And he will make the catch back there as they're a step closer to getting out of this with two away now. The third baseman, number five, David Wright. Digging in once again, David Wright. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball. And both runners are into score now as they'll take charge here at 6-4. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. They say when it rains it pours and it's pouring out there right now. Drives in two more with that shot making it four runs in the inning. This inning is starting to get away from him. Here comes the Padre manager up out of the dugout heading for the mound. And he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. So he'll depart here in the fifth after working just four and two thirds. And he's on the hook for the L unless this one turns around. Jerry Kozar is going to take over now, here in inning Padre. number five. So it'll be number a bullpen 55. game from here on out. Jared Action now in the Padre bullpen as it looks like a right hander is getting loose out there. Standing in now, Neil Walker. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. He's set and the two one pitch. And a sinker dips too low there, into the dirt, in fact. Three and one here it is and he misses ball four so he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces you know it takes first a lot baseman, of discipline four. to watch a pitch like that Milner, go by but Florida. on a three one count he had the luxury of being a little bit more selective up there good take and a walk is the result ready for another shot now Wilmer Flores previous history with Jared Kozart he's gone five for 13 he's taken him deep once ready to deal here's the one one big curve ball right down the middle for strike number two well maybe that fooled him or maybe he wasn't looking for it but man he hung him a curve ball right there in the middle for him to not swing the bat being the power hitter he is who sees a lot of breaking pitches makes me think he's looking for something else Get the bat out. he'll try again one two in the dirt here 
Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. Lofted in the air out to right field. Renfro is after it. And that's the third out. Nine men come to the plate for score. Last half of the fifth coming up. The Mets are out on top, six to four. Stepping up now, Carlos Asuaje. He's one for two in the ball game. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. The one and two pitch. And he just misses with a curveball. Well, that's what you want from your curveball on one and two. You start it in the zone and let it break out of the zone where it can't be punished. Didn't get him to go after it, but the execution was nice. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Up next for the Offense, apparently Third not hard play. to come by tonight Will. as you get a look at our line score Meyer. through the first half of the ball game. And boy, the runs have been coming fast and furious so far. Ready once again, Will Myers, one for two on his line so far in the game. Hits are even at seven apiece. Hit hard to short. Throw gets him, two down. Now batting. Third baseman. Digging in and looking Yon for Herbis. more, Yon Herbis Solarte. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. Two out, nobody on. Hit hard on the ground at first. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. Well, there's a little two out base hit. Maybe start a little two out rally. Now he's well, giving up some brother. runs. He's a little Number vulnerable. 10. We've seen him give up Hunter. runs already in this game. So maybe this is a start of something big. Now at the plate, Hunter Renfro, a hit in two tries so far. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. The one two is a breaking ball that can't find the zone, and it's even at two. Boy, he's struggling here in the fifth inning. You know what? You got to finish that fifth inning. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Padres lead one. They trail it here six to four. Digging in to try it again. Rene Rivera. He singled his last time up. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Swung on and hit in the air to left. Blanche has a beat on it. One down. Now batting. Ready for Denver. another chance. Steven Matz hitting in his own turn with his guys up by two in inning number six. One and one here it comes. Hit on the ground to third. Solarte's got it. Throw on to first two gone. Now batting. It is Curtis Granderson. Two hits and three at bats for him in this one. Now the pitch. A tough sinker on the inside corner. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Swing and a ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. Here's another 2 2. Fly ball out toward left center field. Lash is on his horse. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. Mets go down one, two, three. They're up six to four. Here's Jabari Blash. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Here it comes on one and one. Takes this the other way to right, but he will come on strong out there in right and pull this one down for the first down. The batter number eight, shortstop, Eric So Ibar. digging in now, Eric Ibar comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. 
One out, nobody on. And a good strike two pitch there as he has to fight to stay alive as this is fouled away. Again, he sends it out of play. Another one two delivery. Line towards center field. And that'll get down in front of Granderson for a base hit. Back to back line drives. Now, the first guy was out, but man, they're Not swinging bad. the bat pretty good. Catcher. These two guys saw him pretty Christian. good. Let's see what happens Second now. Guard. And it looks now like a right hander has begun to get loose in the Mets bullpen. Into the box now, Christian Bethencourt to Cabrera for one on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. One hits all they get. We're through six full. It's the Mets six and the Padres four. Back here at Petco Park. Getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. He singled earlier, making him one for two to this point. The 1 1 home to Cabrera. Good change up that time, but he wouldn't bite on it. And a curveball that time that broke too low. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys. So we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. Doesn't want any part of that cutter, and it's full three and two. Crowd gets up for the three two. And this is drifting foul back into the stands. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. And this is fouled at the plate. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Another payoff pitch. Don, they got him to reach for one as this is popped high in the air toward the left side of the infield. And there's the first out. The left fielder, number 50. Here's the left fielder, Yoannis Cespedes. Previous history with Jared Kozart. He's gone 5 for 13. He also has one home run. Bases are empty, one man out. Hey. Breaking ball snaps in there for a called strike two. Oh, he hung him one right there. Curveball right down the middle. Those balls go a long way. He must have been looking for something else. High bar with the slide to first. He is out. The right fielder, number 19, Jay. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Jay Bruce. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Tell you what, this is the wrong guy to float around with. He's been swinging about really good in this series, and he hasn't got a hit in this game yet. But I'm going to tell you what, I, I wouldn't mess with him. The next 3 2. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Down in order go the Mets. They still lead it six to four. Corey Spangenberg is up off the bench as he'll be asked to get something started in the home half of the seventh. Spangenberg. Right hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Hard ground ball to third. Wright's got it. One away. Now batting, 
Digging in at the plate is Travis Jankowski. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Had nibbled the corner there, but missed 2 and 1. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2 1. Now a swing and a fly ball. And no one will track it down. One out, nobody on. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out. A strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. Now a curveball's in there, one and two now. Love that pitch right there, and he executed it perfectly. A big arcing curveball that starts at the batter's hip and then just bends onto the inside corner. A lot of hitters have a tendency to open up way too early, and they can't make good contact on that pitch. He absolutely smoked that ball right there. Four. The infielder was ducking Will. to get out of the way of it. Meyer. Ready once again, Will Myers. He's working on a one for three thus far. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. No walks yet. Here's the delivery. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. One left for San Diego. Score remains steady at 6-4. to four. Kevin Quackenbush has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Kevin Quackenbush. Digging in and looking for more, David Wright, who drove in two runs on a double in his last at bat. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. The 2 2 now to Wright. And here's a ball lifted high into foul ground down the right field line. But no chance to run it down. It's a foul ball. And a swing and a miss that time by Wright as he couldn't come up with it. One away. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best now ones have that late action that just baseball. darts at the last minute. Neil They're so Walker. tough to get the bat on. And when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Here's the one and one delivery. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Just oh, off the yeah. inside part of the plate, it's three and one. Wilmer Flores will be next. Here's the three one. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Pretty adamant about working him inside right now. Back to back fastballs, and that one was able to find the zone. Dribbled to the right side, and they'll just tag him out along the first base line. First baseman number. Riding in once again, Wilmer, Wilmer Flores. Flores. He flew out in his last at bat. He's set. Here's the 3 1. A slider that he looks at over the outside corner. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a miss on the knuckle curve, and the inning is over. Mets go down 1, 2, 3. They're up 6 to 4. Ready for another shot now. Jan Herbert Solarte, two for three with a double on his line so far. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one-two on the ground to the right side, taken by Walker, and a rather easy first out. 
have to protect there with two strikes. And he just got it off the end of the bat. Not much of a problem for the infield at that point. Looks like a left-hander has begun to get loose out in that Mets bullpen. Now a swing and a deep drive to left. And it ain't coming back. Gone as it bangs off the LED board. A solo shot here to left. Seven home runs for him on the year now. And this will make things interesting at this point. It's now a 6-5 game. Yeah, and there's another reason the word around the league is this guy's a bona fide rookie of the year candidate. He seems to come up big, never shying away from the moment like a lot of rookies do. It's been a joy to watch him have so much success in just his first big league season. Now time is called, and this might be to buy a little time for that reliever to get loose. Stepping in now, Jabari Blash. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And plenty of room out there for Granderson, and there are two away now. The batter number eight, shortstop. Here's Eric Ibar Eric now. Ibar. One for two on his line so far in the game. Bases are empty here with two men out. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. No offer at the curve that time, and it's knotted up at two and two. He executed that one-two curveball pretty well. I think that's right where he wanted it to end up, but he couldn't get him to chase at it. We'll see what they go with now after that didn't work out. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. How about him? Digging in once again, Christian, Christian Bethencourt. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. And now here comes Mets skipper Terry Collins out to home plate, and it looks like we'll see a double switch here. Jerry Blevins will come on now, and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. T.J. Rivera is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. T.J. Rivera. A runner on first with two away. Swing and a little tapper. That's a foul ball. Slow roller back to the mound. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Padres draw a bit closer thanks to this solo home run. On to the ninth inning from Petco Park. It's the Mets six and the Padres five. Bright lights of downtown on the San Diego Bay. We're back now from Petco Park in the gas lamp district as we're set to start the night. Jordan Walden will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Austin Hedges will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Austin coming to the plate now Rene Rivera he's one for two in the ball game. Padres are going to get something going out in the bullpen now as a left hander has stood up to throw. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. Into the stands he got it. Now the first baseman. Set to get his evening at the plate started, T.J. Rivera. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. And a swing and a miss here, and the first two are dispatched to begin the ninth. 
Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, man. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Into the box, Curtis Granderson. A take there by Granderson as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Hey, when a guy's been swinging the bat as well as he has in this the series, you definitely want to take the bat out of his hands. A free pass to first is better than what he's been doing the last couple of games. Two out with the man at first. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Tries to go the other way as this is in the air to left field. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Met strand one as it remains a 6 5 ball game. Striding in to start the ninth, Austin Hedges. And they'll need him to get something going here. Here it comes, 0 and 2. A little bouncer. Throw got him, and that's a gorgeous play. The center fielder, number 16, Travis. Stepping up now, Travis Jankowski. A hat trick already to his credit in this one, so he's looking to avoid the dreaded golden sombrero here. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Wooden bite on a good sinker that time that missed. This one's flared out toward left. Here comes Cespedes, two down. Now batting. Second Digging in, Carlos Oswahe. On the night, he's okay. two for four with a pair of singles. Two out, nobody on. Two and one. And this is swung on and missed, so the Padres find themselves down to their final strike here. It looks like he just swung right over that sinker right there. What is so hard about a sinker, you have to almost go underneath it and scoop it. If you got one of those swings that goes over the top, you're never going to hit it. And if you're the manager, you've got to love that about your team. They were down to their last strike, but they refused to go down without a fight, so they live to fight some more. Digging in, Will Myers. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Line drive to center field. But this is taken in as a perfect metaphor to end this one as that ball was hit hard, but the ball game is over. Well, in hindsight, it was the right choice to let the setup guy stay in the game and finish this thing. I wasn't so sure before, but the results sure speak for themselves. And tonight's one-run game comes to an end 6-5, to five, the final. Steven Matz records the victory his 13th of the year. Christian Friedrich permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. Jerry Blevins records four outs on his way to the save, his first of the year. So that's a wrap here tonight. Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Facebook at MLB The Show. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets. Six runs, seven hits, no errors. They left five minutes. The 2-0. He throw to right and deep. Back goes Para to the wall, and it's off the wall. 3,000 is in right field, and Ichiro is racing for third, and he's done it. He's climbed the mountain, a triple, and he has arrived at 3,000. Beltre Homer.